We're talking about weather in Tenerife. The reason Tenerife is so popular is because of the weather. It's where our spritz go for our winter sun. Yeah, I mean, it's sunny pretty much all year round with lows in December, January, February time of about 15 degrees, which to be fair, is a pretty good day in England yeah. still. <laughs> Uh, and highs of about 29 in July and August. But if you're gonna go into the sea, the best time is probably September and October when the water's about 24 degrees at its highest. Yeah. So we went to Tenerife in November when England was completely miserable at about zero degrees. And Tenerife <laughs> was about 23 to 25. So nice and warm, but not too hot and sticky. And actually where it is on the globe, Q globe, uh, as you can see, it's kind of here. So you've got Africa and the Atlantic Ocean, meaning that all of these winds from the Atlantic Ocean bring a nice, thanks John, <laughs> cool breeze. So it's nice and fresh, for want of a better word. <laughs> so Tenerife is an island of microclimates, and this means that you can go between the sometimes snow-capped volcano Teide and down in the south where the hot beaches are um, within the space of two hours. Now, if you are gonna go up slightly higher, we'd recommend bringing a few layers because it does get kind of chilly in the evenings the higher you go up into the mountains. Yeah, but you're more likely to be hot than you are cold, so make sure you look after yourself, bring sun cream, um, some sunglasses, make sure you maybe bring a hat so that you can kind of keep the sun off your head and don't get sunstroke and wreck your whole holiday. Uh, and drink lots of water, not beer. Uh, <laughs> stay safe, kids. <laughs> Enjoy the sun responsibly. <laughs> so that's our roundup of the weather in Tenerife. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Yep, if you have any comments or anything, just chuck them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching.